to multiply CHPL plus minus M4LL, so I could be able to work out. Um, I have a question really for the federal folks in here. I'm a little appalled, to be honest, in terms of the lack of a larger perspective in, the, in this story that's called the Civil Service Pipeline. For all practical purposes, it's just one tentacle of a growing fracking industry. As we've heard before, we got <coughs> one person two, but it's also a split estate. There are a number of organizations in a number of states throughout the United States of America who clearly are addressing the negative impacts of a fracking industry. A fracking industry that has been able to incur such damage because there was once a former CEO of a firm called Halliburton, who becomes the chair of the Energy Security Task Force in the White House of George Bush Sr. Mr. Dick Cheney. Because of that, we have, for example, such things as the Halliburton loophole, which leads to such things as the, basically the destruction of groundwater resources in places anywhere from Texas all the way up to New York State, potentially. What I'm really curious about is when you are looking just at a small picture, you may just see a gas pipeline. You may want to go about it, making sure it's nice and safe and tidy. Although uh, these promises do not always come to us, there's, there is a well-established a record in terms of um, issues with safety along various pipelines throughout the country. Just since 2010, we've had altogether, I believe, 127, perhaps 128 by now, uh, pipeline accidents altogether. When you see this in a larger context, and you also know that there are alternatives. We heard several speakers talk about the fact that when you are, for example, in southern Georgia, or if you are in the so-called sunshine state, you have 70% more solar radiation input than you have in countries such as Germany, which happens to be the place where I hail from. That's why I talk a little fine. If we have that enormous amount of solar energy potential, and you add on to that wind energy, and then you add on to that, which is also one of the things that the Sierra Club talks about, the simple fact that when easily, we could easily basically conserve up to one third of the energy we're consuming daily. We are consumers. We are over consumers in this country, too. We have to acknowledge this. And you have to ask yourself the question, what are we really doing? What are we doing to ourselves? This is not America, and I'm not an American guy, so I'm watching from outside, where you have basic property rights violated for profits of a company. This is not America when we're being told that it's safe, and it turns out not to be safe, and you have a limited liability corporations who may not be able to fulfill some kind of responsibility, and then they do the kind of thing that happened just recently when it came to the coal ash spill, uh, somewhere, I believe it was, in West Virginia, there's not an incident like that. They just simply de de declare bankruptcy and run away. I'm really concerned about it because I know about the beauty of the American environment. I know about the beauty of the American political system. But the land of the brave and the free has become the land of the greedy and the corrupt. And I know we can do better. And they were encouraged to see the larger picture and to see that this is just one part of the larger problem. We have to do a better job to become independent of our habits. Fossil fuels are ultimately finite resources. You can squeeze that sponge for another 20, 30 years longer than you anticipated. Eventually, you run out. And what are you going to do then? We're wasting our time not going about our business in terms of finding alternative resources of energy. We haven't been able to develop these technologies and actually be safer and sounder and in a better place than we are today. We don't need to have these kinds of fights. We are facing the all. I think at the end of the day, when we all sit down and leave all these little influences that bring us to go one way or the other outside of the picture, we realize there's one thing that's most important in humanity that is the respect for your neighbors, the respect for the environment, leaving the environment in such a condition that future generations can, can enjoy it just the same. We're doing a pretty poor job of that. All of us, not just you guys. You play a role, we play our role, we are consumers, we are part of the larger picture. But why are we not looking at the larger picture and always just Focus on the little tiny aspects in here. I'm really concerned about this. We can do better than that. Thank you. Thank you.